What's up people, Cypher here. Welcome back to Sector 2, Lost Crusade. And we're in the Milestorm. And FRM, which is DKA basically, look like they managed to defend successfully to gain their platforms or at least keep their platforms active. Yeah. However, it looks like ALL moved to the right a little bit and just started deconstructing these. Because <laughs> these look like they're all being bashed up right now. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy, I managed to do it. I actually cleared 400 and got the permanent one all for free. So that was just using the missions that were given to us. And to be honest, I've still got missions to do. Still got the chaos, still got the hostile, very close to the hostile. Still got Alliance Help, Augur Ray. Still got Rogue Trader, Resource Collecting. And still got use resources out of these. Cleared the rest of them. So I'm 84 out of 96. And I managed to get the actual tail flame. Now we can just work on the rest. And see how many legendary fragments I can get out of this. Because that's all I'm going to really work on now. I need to try and get 50. Don't really care for the frames and stuff. Happy to get the tail flame. Now it's just a case of seeing if I can unlock these. To go towards me Kalgar, seeing that I used a load of me legendary tech frags to go for Mephiston, so that he would uh, go up to five star, which is he is now bad boy star. The wreckage, the salvage wreckage is back on again. It's in your sector rather than the milestorm. I'm in the milestorm right now, so I won't participate in the wreckage event. However, if you are not participating in milestorm and you're just sat in your sector chilling, doing your thing then this will be available for you right now and you just got to go into the green squared areas probe a bit and you will come across wreckages whether they be blue normal epic purple or orange legendary and then obviously the rarity determines what type of reward you're getting from it but when i did test it on the first part the rewards were pretty decent so definitely something worth doing if you're in the sector right now I'm hiding, well I'm not exactly hiding, I'm sat chilling in the milestorm where I've been chilling this whole time. I mean, most people can see my coordinates right now, so it's not, <laughs> it's not as if I can hide. Now, we are branching nicely into this area, the uh, outer circle one. ALL seem to have left us alone. I think that they've gathered what we're doing. We're not attempting to take any forts or anything like that we're just going for the super resources capitalizing on collecting resources that's it because of that it seems they've just left us be we have very few attacks from AOL nowadays purely because it seems like they're focusing their power on some of the other areas now last i checked they were deconstructing this area over here which seems to be the case to be honest it seems like the area has been put apart a bit <laughs> so from the looks of it right now it, it seems as though all have set up one side to start connecting to the relevant important fact areas i.e fortresses and they're going to connect that then to towards the central area They've also set up over in this here area, which has allowed them to then start attacking platforms within the outer circle here, which is now deconstructing the link that DKA and IRL have that go from the border or our he their headquarters, which they've landed within the outer circle to the inner circle. So they're going to have to eventually probably break off from the outer circle and try and contain themselves in the inner it's definitely not a good idea you really need to be taking these forts as many as you can the more forts you take the more power you're gaining in terms of little boosts because each fort gives you like a buff and stack they do stack different levels stack so while you're going through the stages collecting the different levels you're stacking all these percentage buffs now, AOL are really setting up. Our sector seems like they're falling apart. 
I can't really say about the other sectors. Oh, there's one. So who's attacking? <laughs> War hamster. <laughs> War hamster is going full hamster mode on these platforms. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect it to be War hamster out of any of them. Oh, did I catch him? Am I going to catch him? That was quick. Size so just... Oh, there he is. God, that was quick. Oh, my days. I am lucky to see that. Bosh. Well, SLG, you dude, you loitering in that area. You've been caught. I was just looking at Hamster. <laughs> I was actually right next to War Hamster. And this dude all of a sudden dropped his bubble and sent out a deployment. You know? I tried to catch it and I caught it. Cool. Yeah. I can only imagine that this was a random warp and this is what we call coincidence. Yeah. This is the Marshal of AXD. And he's only 22 clicks away from me. <laughs> Question is, did he watch my video? Do you think he got angry? He might not have, as I said, this, this legit could be a random coincidence that he just warped randomly back into border area and he's landed right next to me in terms of cuddle territory. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes on this just in case, innit? <laughs> War hamster. <laughs> he's a he's a nutter. That's <laughs> all I've seen pretty much a good por portion of the day is war hamster just attacking plats he's ruthless now i haven't let anybody know that i'm about to initiate the chaos i think i'll just let them know by initiating it innit? <laughs> let's see how many people i can panic <laughs> right chaos activated that's the first one to defend it against let's see what did i do three again i can only ever clear three now how unfortunate oh my days logan's got his own personal chaos fleet what's going on with that <laughs> the rest of us are coming from over here and Logan's got his own personal one. This is like his five-star sweet one, yeah? <laughs> Ours isn't good enough for you, Logan. <laughs> Ours are just the mere peasant ones. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my days, I find another Bernie one. <laughs> MIT got hit. And I'm pretty certain, yep. A-L-L. They are savage. So as you can see, I came 26th. That's alright, I'm cool with that. And our alliance came 4th. Which is brilliant result, to be honest. I'm happy with that. Top 5 and top 30. Cool. <laughs> Not only that. I have also completed 96 out of 96 of the architects i actually fully cleared this thing seriously impressed with myself with that <laughs> i didn't expect to do that so i've got 20 fragments left i don't think i'm going to use them i think i might keep them i'm just happy to get the le i got two legendary tech frags and i got the tell flame so I'm super happy with that, and it's on its way out now. This is the last day of it, so we'll be waving it off. And then we'll see what else is coming up. We've still got the hero wheel here. I've still got one to do, and I'm so close to clearing it. I might, like, I've still got a day left, so I'm umming and on. I might go full ham and try and get that last one, <laughs> just to clear it. So, Battle for Enyo is going to be coming up. Avoid Supremacy sign-up periods coming up. 
we got another salvage wreckage coming up in the future. Alliance Treasure is going to be appearing, which I just think is that, uh, where you all pay in and then one of you gets it for free. Sort of treasure. Possibly, but might not be. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so that is everything for today. And tomorrow seems like we're all set to do some standard stuff. Just, I guess, loom around the Malstorm and see what carnage we can find in it. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment if you'd like to. Much appreciated if you do. Bless up!